and welcome to it. Today we're going to be making a beanie hat styled after Kristoff's from the movie Frozen. And I also have an Anna style hat if you're interested I'll put the link in the description below. But for the Kristoff hat you're going to want to use a dark gray colored chunky yarn and we'll be using a 36 peg loom. So if you're using a nifty knitter loom that's the green one and I'll also put the pattern for this hat in the description below. So let's get started. First we'll tie a slip knot by wrapping the yarn around two fingers and then pulling a loop through and then we'll place it onto the first peg and cinch it tight. Then we'll wrap the loom like this until we come all the way back to the first peg and then tie it off. Next we're going to take a very 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 long double strand of yarn and weave it through the web that we just made. Now this is going to be the flat top portion of the hat. If you look at his beanie it's not really uh, domed typical beanie, it's flat on the top. And because we're using a loom with even number pegs we're going to cheat a little bit. You can do a different size loom but this one is a pretty versatile size. It works with adults and children. But uh, we'll be skipping a weave every time we go all the way around the loom so that we don't uh, go over and under the same in the same places that we did the first time. Now if you have an odd number of loom you don't have to skip a, uh, a weave but if you have an even number then you have to skip a section so that you're going under where you went over and over where you went under on the previous row. So as you work around you don't want to be weaving it very tight. You don't want to pull it very close because that will make a dome shape to the hat but you don't want it so loose that you see holes through it so you want it kind of in the middle not tight but not super loose and as you're weaving you may need to add more yarn to your length so just cut another length and tie it on and keep going once you reach the end it should look like this and now we're going to tie on a single strand and start wrapping the loom. We'll be adding a total of 20 rows before we begin the next step. To add rows, we'll be wrapping each peg counterclockwise as we go around the loom in a clockwise direction. After you've added each row, you have to push the yarn down on each peg to make room for the next row of yarn. Once you have three rows of yarn added to each peg, you'll be ready to use the pick tool. Now when you tied on the single strand to start wrapping, you may have some uh, pegs wrapped with a double strand. That's okay. When you're picking them, just pick them as if they're one strand. And to pick, just use the pick tool and bring the bottom loop of yarn up and over the top of each peg and do this all the way around the loom until you only have two rows on each peg and like I said if you have the double strands uh, from the beginning just pull the double strand up and over as if it's one strand. Then you'll be ready to add another row so once again you'll have three rows and then we'll pick the bottom row off each peg again. Continue this until you've added a total of 15 rows to the loom and we'll be ready for the next step. At this point you can see your hat taking shape. It will go flat once we take it off the loom, but again, if, like I said, if it's super tight weave, you might have a bit of a dome to it. Now we're going to add another 8 rows of yarn and turn those 8 rows into a brim. Once you've added the eight rows, we're going to create the first brim of the hat. There's kind of two little loops at the base of his hat. And to do this, we're going to count back eight rows and bring the eighth strand that we did in the second section back up over the top of each peg, just like this, all the way around the loom. Then we're going to use the pick tool since there's now three loops of yarn on each peg and after picking we're going to add another nine rows of yarn. With the nine rows of yarn we're going to make another brim. 
So bring the eighth strand up and over the top of each peg. And because we've added nine rows, there's going to be a single row of yarn between the two brim sections. So with the second brim made, we're now ready to finish off the hat. Use the pick tool so that only one row of yarn remains on each peg. Now we'll cut the working yarn, leaving about 20 inches or so that will thread onto a yarn needle. The easiest way to thread a yarn needle is to cut a little piece of paper and fold it over the yarn. Then push the, the paper through the eye of the needle, just like this, and you've got your yarn needle threaded. Then we'll thread each remaining strand onto the yarn like this. And be sure not to cinch it or pull it tight, since it will shrink the opening of the hat. So you want this kind of loose. And finally, we'll thread the yarn through the brim and tie it and then cut it off. To make the pom-pom, wrap a piece of cardboard or foam core that's about two to three inches wide with some yarn like this. Then slide the yarn needle underneath the wraps of yarn and tie a knot. Next we'll cut the top and bottom of the card like this. And then we'll attach the pom-pom to the top of the hat with the yarn needle, thread it through, and tie a knot. And that's it! Congratulations! Have fun sporting your new Kristoff beanie. They make great presents if you have a Halloween costume. Thanks for watching. Please rate and comment. And there's also a share button uh, just below the video. Click that, post it onto Facebook or Pinterest. It will help me out loads. If you want more videos like this, I would really appreciate that. If you want to watch the real life versions of some Frozen songs, these guys at Working With Lemons do an excellent job. They're really good videos. They're really creative. They actually featured uh, this hat that I just made. It's got a cameo in there. So click those if you want to watch it. Otherwise, have a great day.